and we're back. What is up, everybody? I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, and it has been a while. And I'm coming in with the biggest update to Swiftful Thinking ever. This is something that I've been trying to build for years and was unsuccessful until now. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys. This is more than just a course. This is a journey. This is you guys becoming masters of Swift UI, and I'm so excited to see what you're gonna build after this course. Those of you who have been following for a while probably already know what this course is going to be. So some of you might remember, but about three, maybe four years ago now, I did a poll on this channel back when I was just creating the first couple playlists. And the poll was, what do you guys want to learn next? And I was trying to figure out what are the things that people are still really struggling with. And the overwhelming response was, can you guess it? Advanced app architecture. And I actually tried to make this course about three years ago and I completely failed. I failed for two reasons. The first one being I was actually not good enough to teach it. As we start covering more difficult material, it's actually much more difficult to teach as well. And so I felt like I was a little out of my league. But secondly, and probably the bigger problem that I ran into was that the Swift language was changing so much. If I built this course three years ago, we probably would have used Combine and the entire code base probably would have looked quite different than it does today. In the last year, there has been massive changes to both the Swift language and the Swift UI framework. And now we have things like Swift concurrency, we can use async await, we have the observation framework, which is a tremendous help in Swift UI. And bigger than all of that is Swift 6. Now these changes are big changes and they have really changed how we write code in Swift. But I feel pretty confident now that with these changes, Swift is in a pretty stable place in that it's not gonna change that much over the next couple of years. So of course, in this course, we are now gonna use all of these new frameworks and write the best Swift code possible. So I tried to make this course three years ago and failed, but I've actually been making this course for about the last eight months. If you guys follow this channel, you'll know I haven't posted in a very long time. Not because I wasn't making videos, but because I was making videos only for this course. There is so much involved in this course. It is over 150 lessons long. Yes, that's 150 video lessons to build just one app. Now, it's not normally going to take you that long to build an app. We're going to go through an entire journey of building the app in a bunch of different architectures with a bunch of different setups. We're going to really dive into what it means to be an app architect. This is more than just copying my implementation. This is you guys learning how to solve these problems in your own code base. When do I need to decouple a dependency and how do I do that? When should we add a protocol? When do we add more abstraction? When should we, but also when shouldn't we? So this course is not only the most complete, most complex, most advanced course that I've ever created, but it is also the last course of Swiftful Thinking. I have some plans next year to do updates to some playlists. I'm gonna cover some iOS 18, iOS 19 updates, but this is the final course in the Swiftful Thinking curriculum. I am so excited to take you guys on this journey. A large part of the reason why this is the final course is because it covers everything. Everything that I've learned in my professional iOS career, from working at companies with 20 to 30 engineers to working at startups where I'm the only engineer. I've put all of that knowledge into building the best app possible. And we're gonna even go beyond the code in this course. We're gonna write the code, but we're also gonna talk about what this means for the business. How do we handle analytics? How do we run A-B tests? How do we make sure we're covering all of our edge cases in terms of crashes and things like that? There is so much involved in this course, and in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we're going to learn. After this course, there's literally nothing left for me to teach you. This is when student becomes master. After this, you guys are going to be experts at Swift UI. This is more than a course, it is a journey. And I hope that you are ready for the journey. In the next couple of videos, I'll walk you through exactly what it is that we're going to build. Thanks y'all for watching. As always, my name is Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.